is it going everybody, you're watching that about tech and today I'm going to show you how to fully protect your Apple ID on your iPhone. So as you know, your Apple ID is your sign in to absolutely everything on your iPhone and your iCloud. So all your data, photos, videos, apps, your notes, reminders, your messages, you name it, absolutely everything. So if somebody actually gains access to your Apple ID, they can take a look, edit, remove, share absolutely everything that you have, all that's precious to you. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fully protect your Apple ID. It's super simple. Let's get started. All right. So if somebody actually steals your iPhone or gains access to it in any way, the first thing they're going to do is open up your settings and then tap here right there at the top where it says Apple ID and then sign in in security. And in pretty much five seconds, they can tap here on change password and change your Apple ID password. All they need is your lock screen passcode, but that's super easy to get as well, especially if it's somebody who's always around you or somebody steals it and actually demands that passcode from you. So with the lock screen passcode, they can easily change your password. And as I said, gain access to your Apple ID change and then remove you. So just completely remove your access. They'll have your iPhone with your data and you won't even be able to track your iPhone using Find My, for example, because they have just changed the password and removed you completely. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can actually protect this section right here, how you can actually make impossible for someone to open this page right here, because there are actually other methods of protection, like, for example, account recovery and recovery key and everything like that. But really, they're super easy to bypass. But this that I'm going to show you right now, it just isn't. Let me show you. So all you have to do is head back to your settings and then scroll down just a bit until you see screen time. And right here, you'll need to enable screen time if you don't use it already. OK, if it's the first time you use the feature, you're going to need to go ahead and enable turn on screen time. Then it's going to ask if the iPhone is yours or if it's a child's phone. And then you're going to see this screen. Super simple. Turn it on. And then you see this page right here. And then all you have to do is tap here on content and privacy restrictions. So tap on this option and then you're going to need to scroll down quite a bit until you see account changes right there. So tap on this option and then tap on don't allow. You'll understand in a second what I'm doing here. OK, now come back, come back once again. And on this very first page, we're going to need to create a passcode, a secondary passcode different from the one we used to unlock the screen. OK, so this passcode we're going to create right here. That's the screen time passcode, a secondary different passcode. OK, it's important. That's different. All right. Uh, so we're going to need to go ahead, scroll down a bit more until we see lock screen type settings. All right. So tap here and then it's going to ask for you to create your screen time passcode. As I said, your secondary passcode. So I'm going to use one, two, three, four just to make it super simple for us in the video. All right. I'm going to repeat it, as you can see. And then it's going to ask if you want to set a recovery option for your screen time passcode. Uh, if you want to make this extremely super safe, I don't recommend that you use a recovery option just so no one will be able to recover it ever. Just you. OK, so what I recommend you to do is just memorize those four numbers. This passcode that I just created, right? One, two, three, four. Of course, don't use it. That's super simple. OK, so create yours and memorize it. Maybe write it down somewhere. Uh, so then only you will ever be able to use this feature and only you will ever be able to actually access your Apple ID, which is our whole point, right? So uh, if that's your case, you can go ahead and tap on cancel. If uh, you think you may forget the passcode or something, then you can just type in your username and your password for your Apple ID. And then you'll be able in the future, if you forget the screen time passcode, you can use your Apple ID to recover it. As I said, I'm not going to do this because I want to be super, super safe. OK, so I'm going to go ahead and tap on cancel. And then it's going to ask if I'm sure I don't want to use a recovery option. And yes, I am. So skip 
And then that's it. I have created my lock screen passcode, a different one, a secondary passcode. As I said, please write it down. You can't forget it, all right? So now that we're done, let me show you what this is all about. So if we come back to our first screen of our settings, as you can see, I can't open my Apple ID settings. So if somebody steals my iPhone, they won't be able to access any of my Apple ID data. And of course, you may be thinking, okay, Daniel, great, but what if I, myself, what if I wanna access my Apple ID stuff? No problem. You go back here to screen time, you tap again on content and privacy restrictions, scroll all the way down, tap here on account changes, it's gonna ask, of course, for your screen time passcode. That's the security, that's the whole point, right? So, tap in the passcode, and then tap on allow once again, come back, back, and back, wait around five to 10 seconds, it's gonna come back to normal, uh, and as you can see, that's it. So then I can tap on it, it's fully working once again. So then, that's how I like to use it. I always leave it don't allow, I always leave it disabled, and then when I need to take a look at something in iCloud or something like that, I go ahead and I disable the feature, take a look, as you're seeing right here, and just after I'm done, right after I'm done, I come back to screen time, content, scroll all the way down, account changes, passcode, and then of course, don't allow, and I'm protected once again in about five seconds. It's gonna be grayed out in about a few seconds. So that's how I like to do it. That's how I protect myself. And that's how I know that if somebody steals my iPhone, gets my iPhone, they'll never be able to change my Apple ID or gain access to my account because no one will be able to go ahead here and open up my Apple ID settings, all right? So that's literally it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you a lot. And that's it. I'll see you on the next video as usual, guys. Bye-bye.